Hey there, it's Leah from Made Matchless. Imagine you've been dropped into the middle of a dark, unfamiliar jungle. You turn on your flashlight and you're rummaging around in your backpack looking for something, anything that will help you know what to do next. And at the bottom, you discover a survivor's guide to the jungle written by an explorer who's experienced the jungle firsthand. What a relief, right? As you leaf through, you kind of discover that, I mean, there are just pages and pages of helpful information and insight. Plans to eat, plans not to eat, paths to take, paths to avoid, how to protect yourself from the elements and, and dangerous animals, how to avoid getting eaten. What a wealth of wisdom. And you know what? This guide not only tells you how to survive in the jungle, it actually shows you how you can thrive while you're here. The book gives you instructions for, you know, making a, a warm, sturdy shelter. There are drawings of where you can find fresh, drinkable water. There's photos of delicious jungle fruits and how you can find them and access them. Everything you need to survive and thrive in a dark, unfamiliar, and unpredictable place is right in this guide from someone very wise who's come before you. But you know what? After briefly flipping through those pages, you toss the guide back in your bag. I don't have time to read this. Plus, it was written so long ago, I'm sure I'll be fine. And you walk off into the darkness, hoping for the best, as your survivor's guide gradually slips its way back down to the bottom of your backpack. Wow. If you're like me, you're thinking, what a foolish thing to do. Of course you need a guide to survive. Of course you need that wisdom and those instructions from that book. Who on earth would want to just sort of figure it out and, and try to do it on their own and just hope for the best? But you know what? That's exactly what I do when I neglect to open this. This is God's word. It's a book written by those who have come before us completely inspired by an all-knowing and good God, full of wisdom, instructions for life in this dark world, guidance on not just surviving, but thriving. It's supernatural. And it's a book that as I head into an unpredictable and treacherous world, I, we desperately need it daily. Yet instead, sometimes we say, you know what? I don't have time to read this. Plus, it was written so long ago. Does it really apply to me? I'm sure I'll be fine. And we walk off into yet another day, neglecting to acknowledge our need for instruction and guidance, wisdom and protection from danger. We would never imagine heading off into a dark, scary jungle with a survivor's guide buried deep in our backpacks. Yet, we do that every day when we let this survivor's guide gather dust on our bookshelves. But when we dust it off, when we open this, when we rearrange our priorities and, and make time to read it, when we say, you know, yeah, it was written a long time ago, but truth doesn't change. When we humble ourselves and admit that we don't know everything that we need to know to survive, then we are acknowledging that we need this book to survive. I need this book to survive. And you know what, not only that, but this book, God's word will give us guidance on how to thrive in a dark, confusing, and wayward world. You know, when we open this book up, we are saying, you know what, God, I can't handle this world. I can't survive everything that it's just hurtling at me. I can't handle the surprises around every single corner alone. It's, it's impossible for me to know on my own, you know, what's good and what's poison because sometimes they look the same. But with your word, God, I can know, I can survive. I can identify the lies when, I, when I'm in this and when I know your truth. And I believe that I don't just have to survive, I can actually thrive. Friends, we're all in this dark world and we all at some point try and toss aside God's word, hoping that our own efforts and self-confidence will be enough to make it through. I've done it too many times to count, but we don't, have to just hope for the best. We don't have to hope that we can somehow make it through yet another day somewhat unscathed. We 
you and I can open this book today. We can see what God is saying to us, how, how you can face a sinful world and your sinful struggles and you know the, the temptations and the pain and your past, and you can survive. And, and you know what? Not just survive, but you can actually thrive because of Jesus Christ. Jesus said in John 16, 33, I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. The amazing truth is that Jesus has experienced this dark world too, firsthand. And he's overcome the world. He has gained victory in this world for you and for me when he died on the cross and he came alive again. We don't need to be alone, just kind of hoping for the best. We can have God's word to guide us and the victory of Christ to enable us to truly thrive in who God created us to be. Open this book for yourself today. Start with the book of John and read Jesus' words to you and to me. You'll discover that this dark world that we're in, it's nothing new. It's been dark for a very, very long time. But you'll also see that surviving and yes, even thriving can happen because of the unchanging truth found in this book, if we use it. Thanks for listening to my devotion on your survival guide today. May Mantles exist to help girls and women thrive in our culture and to make a supernatural impact for Jesus Christ, just as God made us. If you'd like to subscribe to my newsletter, visit maymatchless.com slash subscribe. This is Leah Tatina, and remember, you're made matchless.